October 2008, the height of the banking crisis. The government spent tens of billions of pounds trying to stop banks going under. One way of judging how healthy they were was by how much interest they were paying to borrow cash, which would also affect the cost of mortgages and loans. Until recently, the way LIBOR worked was that each bank had to estimate how much interest they'd have to pay to borrow cash. That was the job of the LIBOR submitter, who, the law now says, should be giving his own genuine view, not influenced by others. Then the rates from all the banks were averaged. That's the LIBOR rate. Panorama has uncovered a phone call on October the 29th, 2008, during the financial crisis, when a senior Barclays banker, Mark Dearlove, tells the man putting in LIBOR rates, Peter Johnson, to push down his LIBOR rates below the true cost of borrowing cash because of pressure from above. The bottom line is you're going to absolutely hate this. We've had some very serious pressure from the UK government and the Bank of England about pushing our LIBORs lower. OK, so I'll push them below a realistic level of where I think I can get money. Absolutely. The fact of the matter is that we've got the Bank of England and all sorts of people involved in the whole thing. We played the recording to Chris Philp MP, a member of the Treasury Select Committee, who was shocked by it and called for an inquiry. If what Dear Love is saying is true, that is shocking. This tape suggests that in fact the Bank of England knew about it and indeed were encouraging or even instructing it. So we need a, an immediate inquiry to find out exactly what is going on given what we've just heard on this tape. Peter Johnson pleaded guilty to conspiracy to defraud and last summer I asked him about the LIBOR instructions from the top as he was heading to court to go to jail. Were you ordered by your bosses to post false LIBOR rates under pressure from the Bank of England? Yes or no? No comment. One of the Barclays defendants jailed for LIBOR rigging, Alex Paybon, was released from prison three weeks ago and deported to his home in Texas. He still thinks his trial was far from fair. He says the shift in LIBOR requested by the Bank of England was much larger than the most the traders could have achieved. We were asking for an eighth of a basis point, and they were asking for 50 basis points. So it's about 400 times more. The Bank of England told Panorama LIBOR and other global benchmarks were not regulated in the UK or elsewhere during the period in question. Andy Verity, BBC News.